So most of you know me as a dog person, Fluffy, Ellie, Sonia. Um, but I've also had cats in my life. And it, when I had my first set of dogs, Beezer and Corbin, first dog was obviously named Beezer, right? Okay. Um, after Beezer passed, Corbin, who was my Akita, who, where's the sign? The sign is over here. You can see it on the dolphin's wall. Corbin was my Akita. When Beezer passed, we got a cat named Tia. And that was all the way back in 2008. And then she lived with us. And then my ex took her when she left in 2018. And when my ex moved back to Maryland from Florida in the last couple of months, uh, Tia was 17 years old and left with my daughter because she wasn't sure she would survive the trip. And unfortunately, as things would have it, Tia passed just, just today. She passed today in her sleep in her sleep so the picture that you're looking at here is a picture of my daughter's dog and tia was cuddled up with her um that's that picture is two days ago picture two days ago so she passed away today almost 17 she might have already have been 17 years old so hug them if you got them everybody cats win one for the cat Panther fans, here we go. Come on. Yeah, what is going on? What am I getting like uh, some sort of neurological? Whatever. I can't clap this year. So we've got the Kings tonight. Bubba, let's just get Bubba's pregame pets out of the way before I forget to do that. I don't suspect we can have any lineup changes. I haven't seen. I'm preparing for the weekend. I don't want to call it the weekend from hell because it's going to be fun and my Dolphins are going to beat the Chiefs. <laughs> but that said, um, including tonight, what is it, Thursday? So tonight is Thursday night, including tonight. Um, by next Tuesday morning, Kyle and I will have streamed a collective basically 40 hours in the next four days because we're doing all the football games, doing all the hockey games, doing the reviews. If you're interested in knowing the exact schedule, I made a community post in depth. Nick from Twisted Rister is going to help out on the Saturday Panther stream, so it will be him and I doing the Panther stream. Details are in that post. So we've won eight straight. I think the Kings have lost seven straight, maybe eight. I think it's six. Yeah, maybe it's six. Whatever it is, um, we're winning. They're losing. Now, I did see a quote from a Kings player today that they actually haven't been all that disappointed in how they've played. That's good news. That's good news for us because can you imagine if we had lost six in a row and Ekblad was quoted as saying, yeah, we haven't really been too disappointed in how we've been playing. I don't know how that would go over with Paul Maurice, but that's good news because that what that means is they have not reached the level of we're pissed off about how things are going and we need to pick it up a notch. So we might be able to get two points in the bank tonight. Now, usually that first, ro that first home game after a row, long road trip, Right? You had a perfect road trip. You know, this could kind of be a little bit of a letdown. Uh, we played the Devils 1 o'clock on Saturday. That's that's the one that kind of stinks to me, right? The Devils are in the conference. They're going to be fighting for a playoff spot. The Kings usually play us hard, but I got a good feeling about this one tonight. 1 o'clock on Saturday. It's usually, that's, I mean, when we go, actually, why am I saying 1 o'clock Saturday? You see what I mean? I'm already screwing up. Monday is 1 o'clock. Who do we play Monday 1 o'clock? I forget. Saturday is the Devils. So for scratch what I said. Forget what I said. Just pretend I cut that and edited it all out. Monday at 1 o'clock. That's the game. That's probably the game that we're going to lose. Who's going to be there Monday at 1 o'clock? I'll barely be out of bed after the weekend we're going to have. So Panthers continue. Stay healthy. Keep winning. No overtime. All right, no, not 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 tonight. I'm not in the mood for it tonight. Okay, uh, I haven't been doing score predictions, so I'm not going to do one tonight. Let's just say I would I would prefer to have a nice, 
easy, relaxing third period, the way a lot of these games have been. That's the other thing to this winning streak, 4-1, 4-1, 4-1, 8-4, 5-1. I mean, we're winning these games by big margins. I don't know when that's going to end, but I prefer it not to be tonight. I want to roll into the weekend on a good point. Let's get to, not good point, good points. Oh, boy. All right, so it's one nothing Kings after one. Pretty even period of play. Um, Kings got the first goal. Well, got the, of course, they got the first goal. It's one nothing. They What I was trying to say is I think they had like 10 shots to one, something like that, and now we're out shooting them 15, 13. Bennett hit the post. Rodriguez kind of missed the open net. Reinhardt had a breakaway, and he didn't make it happen. I feel good, though. I think we're going to win this game. We look pretty much like ourselves. The Kings are not a bad team, obviously. They've got allowed the least amount of goals in the league, I think. Uh, pretty close to it anyway. Um, little, it's, it's gotten a little bit chippy. Got a little bit chippy there. Kachuk got taken down. Uh, they didn't call a penalty. They did get a penalty later on. Power play looks good. We didn't score, but those five guys, uh, Montour, Kachuk, Reinhardt, Verhage, and Barkov, those five guys, honestly, leave them all. I don't even want a second power play unit. Leave them on the ice for the whole power play, okay? They look good. They move the puck around quickly. Montour running it is by far better than Ekblad. And to be honest, I, li I kind of like him better than Forsling. Those five, I mean, you, you should not be able to stop that power play most times. And it's been looking better. So I feel good about this game. It's got, but, uh, one nothing is nice. Two nothing. I don't want to have to come back from two downs. So we need to get this sucker evened up. All right, so it's 2-1 Kings after two. We, we do all the work to get the game tied up. And then we almost tie, we almost take the lead on a great move by Barkoff in front. He just couldn't finish it off. The puck comes back the other way. And they get Ekblad on a holding call when just absolute dog shit. You guys, I mean, I hate bitching about the refs, but he didn't do anything. There was, there was, there was no call there. But they give it to him anyway, and like two seconds into the power play, with like 10 seconds left in the period, the Kings score, and so we're still down a goal. We're going to win this game because that's going to have pissed them off, right? They look good, especially the second half of that second period. So I still feel good about this game. It would not surprise me if we're going to get overtime because we asked for no overtime, and Kyle has had a long day, and he's damn near falling asleep on the stream. So that pretty much guarantees overtime. But I still feel like we're going to get two points. We're going to have to put some of these pucks in the back of the net. We're getting chances. We miss. We hit the post. We miss. We just we're really, really close to like a 5-2 lead. Come on, guys. Let's get two. We are going to overtime. All right, all right, all right. One, two. Three and two points. Oh, yes. You know what? No, I'm not going to clap the games in a row because I haven't done it yet. So at the end of the winning streak, we'll clap the games in a row. The Panthers have won nine straight. Nine straight. If there are any Kings fans watching, I'm going to get to the Montour thing. Okay? Just just deal with me. Um, we, we scored two goals. I put the rally cap on after we killed off the penalty in the third period. I put the rally cap on. Boom. We get a goal. And then and, and then Sam Reinhardt with 0.7 seconds left in overtime. 0.7 seconds left in overtime. Here's what I'll say about the Montour thing. Now, if you're new to this channel, I try to be as fair as I humanly possibly can. Obviously, I'm a Panther fan. Here's what I'll say. What I saw, what it was, it was a cross check. It was a cross check. Now, what happens is Montour's got the puck, and he looks over his shoulder, and he sees he's about to get hit. He sees the guy is coming in for the hit. So Montour shifts himself so that instead of the hit being kind of at the side, the hit become a cross check in the back. 
He knew it was coming. As soon as the stick hits his back, boom, he face plants on the ice. You could call it a flop. You could call it a smart play. I call it a smart play because what's the worst thing that's going to happen for the Panthers in that instance? They're going to call two minutes of the cross check and two minutes of embellishment and it wipes itself out. So I understand, Kings fans, that you're upset. However, what I would suggest doing before you get too upset about that call is watch the replay of the Ekblad holding that never happened that led to the second goal that y'all guys got with like 10 seconds left in the second period. There wasn't any holding. There wasn't any hooking. There was barely any contact at all. Should have not been a penalty. So either way, it evens out. And look, I mean, I get it. I get it. Kings fans are going to be upset. You guys have lost a bunch of games in a row. I understand that completely. Talbot played his mind out. His mind out. Played his ass off. <laughs> he played out of his mind. Played his ass off. His rebound control. I've, I've, I mean, it was just maddening. Because we get these shots and his rebound control was just spectacular. He was just eating all of the pucks. And I'm sure that... I'm sure Kings fans feel like they deserve to have won that game or at least got it to the shootout. I understand. I, I do understand. Um, but you never know, okay? We could easily see each other again come June, all right? that's the, both, both of these teams, I mean, if you look in the statistics in terms of goals for, goals against, and everything, there's a lot of evenness, and that's what you saw there on the ice tonight. I mean, the shots, even tonight... It was like, we're ahead by two, they're ahead by two. We're ahead by two, they're ahead by two. Very, very even. Both goaltenders played outstanding. And maybe we'll see you guys again. So what else did we see? Um, a lot of posts. Post after post. In fact, there was two posts in overtime, right? And so, I mean, it just this game could have gone any number of different ways between the posts and the great saves and the penalties. But this is the way it went, and I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. We have won nine straight. Oh, so beautiful. Um, I got to say a couple of things. Barkoff, he's getting better, okay? I don't, I don't, I didn't think he could get better, and maybe he's not scoring more goals, but he is, I'm watching him kind of turn into Yermir Yager, um, from the perspective of good luck getting the puck away from him. He is just turning into an absolute beast in terms of using his body to shield the defenseman, and you can't get the puck away from him. He's just absolutely playing out of his mind. And, of course, Gene Reinhardt, Chucky gets another one. Okay, Chucky gets a deflection. What is that five games straight that he scored goals? Because I think the hat trick was four games straight, right? I think that's correct. I mean, you can uh, you can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there was. And then so so it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Now Lundell, Lundell had the quintessential perfect Lundell game today. Okay, outstanding on defense and almost almost almost. He's he's you can see him pushing and pressing a little bit for the offense. He's gonna get one. It, it, it's going to happen, okay? Um, I, I mean, I just, I don't know what to do with myself. There's nothing to complain about. I mean, there's nothing to complain about. The power play looked good, okay? You know, we didn't get one, but we got one in overtime. But, I mean, the power play looks decent. Penalty kill, the goaltending, the defense, the depth. I, it does, there's nothing. That I got to find something to complain about. Seriously, though. I mean, I can't. When I get too satisfied, bad things happen. So give me a second. Um, I did see Kulikov give the puck away once. That's the best I got. Is the best. Is there any any anything else? Any other any anything else? Um, Lundell not scoring. Kulikov gave the puck away once. Um, I, that's all I got. That's it. Too many commercials. Too many commercials. Too many commercial breaks. Yeah. Too many stoppages of play, especially in the first period. All right. That's three complaints. That That's it. That's all I got. There ain't nothing else to say. Uh, we just keep rocking and rolling, and this team is just, I feel good 
about this team. That's all I can say right now. I mean, just like, I know, <clears throat> look, if I'm Bill Zito right now, I'm like, I'm just kind of sit back in the chair and I'm like, I don't, I don't need to do anything. If somebody wants to call me and say, hey, um, you want to make a deal? I'll be like, make me an offer I can't refuse. But in terms of going out and giving up assets that we have to bring another player into this team, I don't see a need. I do not see any need to do it. I don't. And I know Ryan Lomberg is not a scoring forward on that third line. Don't care. Don't care. The chemistry on this team right now, there's, there's just no, there's no need. We've got, deep, we've got uh, depth for miles. Right? There's, there's just, I wouldn't make a move unless somebody calls him. I mean, not only would, I mean, not only do I not want to make a move, but in order to make a move, we'd have to give assets to, to do what exactly? I don't, I, 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 I could change my mind. I could change my mind. I know I was talking differently with Cousins on that line, and I still agree with that. But with Lomberg up there, he's he gives so much, no disrespect to Cousins, but Lomberg just gives so much energy. He just brings a different dynamic to that line, and that's all I have to say about that. And Bubba, 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 one goal, two goals, one goal, two, one goal, two. I mean, it's just like you can't even call him four goal Bob. Like it takes three games now for it to become four goal Bob, right? We had the one game that was eight to four, but other than that, it's one or two goals a night. It's just crazy. This is this good. This is good, man. Last year at this time, we were nine points out of the playoffs. Now we're on a nine-game winning streak. So, what else do we have? We have Saturday. The Devils. Nick and I will be doing the live stream. There will be a full live stream for the game. Okay. I will not be there at the end because I will be downstairs with the Dolphin game. Once that game gets started, I'll be downstairs streaming on the football channel. There's a community post. I've talked about it enough, but no no concerns there. Um, will be a full normal stream. Now, if you go, if you come to the Panthers stream on Saturday, because Nick is helping us out, and I really would not have been able to have a dedicated Panthers stream without his help. Any and all Super Chats on Saturday are going to Nick, okay? So please do show him some support. You guys give me a ton of support, but Nick is doing something extra special for us, for you guys, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I, I feel good about that. So any of the Super Chats on Saturday, I send it off to Nick. I just have to take two or 300 off the top for fees. But other than that, Nick, you're good. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would never do such a horrible. I would never do such a horrible thing to Nick. Maybe it was somebody else, but not to Nick. So, all right, Panther fans, it's nine. It's, it's nine in a row. This is beautiful. I love it. I, I just, there's nothing to complain about. Everything is sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and lollipops and chocolate chip pancakes. It's just all beautiful. The review. I will be live tomorrow at noon. Then I'll have the podcast, and uh, and then we go into the weekend. Busy, busy weekend. Banters, two.